okay. Warren is impossible. That's the first thing. But Serbia is a country with a lot of opportunities. Opportunity, and unfortunately, most of people doesn't see that. And those who, yeah, understand opportunity and catch that, uh, they can live really nicely here. And what we are doing now, we are looking exactly those opportunities for us. Thanks. So we are outside of Novi Sad and we're going out with a couple of our new good friends. Uh, Dale and Dali and uh, Dali Borska and we're going to be looking at several homes that uh, they're looking at for investment purposes and so we'll, we'll introduce them in a second. Are you excited honey? I am. I love real estate and this is fun and spending time with them is a lot of fun so we're enjoying it. And if you can't tell Aria is jumping around on my lap and making the camera move and she's enjoying the drive. So. Let's uh, get on to the next house and we'll introduce you to uh, Dale and Dali Borska. Dale and Dali Borska are a couple that befriended us when we first arrived in Serbia. Dale is an American expat who's been living in Serbia for nine years and his wife Dali Borska is a Serbian native. They invited us to go along as they looked at an investment property for themselves, but they've also helped others find property. So if you're looking, look in the description to contact them. Okay, so this is the first house. It's kind of a fixer upper, so we're going to go do a walkthrough and we'll discuss the finances on this. We want to get an older house like this, and uh, we want to keep that old style flair. Uh, we're not looking to modernize or uh, build some type of new structure. Uh, we want to keep that old style flair from the 20s to 30s. Um, uh, we think that's it's something very unique to the area, uh, which is why we're looking at property like this. Um, for us, it's it's not just a turn and flip investment. Uh, this would be something we'd want to keep, for example. Um, it it has that flair. It has that that something. Uh, you want to rent it Yes. Uh, we would Airbnb a uh, portion of it. Uh, uh, the front completely remodeled. Uh, um, I guess you could say um, restore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and probably put in an old fashioned tea house. Oh, neat. Yeah, okay. that'd be cool. Uh, but one that's a little bit different so that uh, you pay for the tea filter. Rough estimate right now, uh, I'm gonna say between 12 and 15 K. That's euros or? Euros. So 12, 15,000 euros, you'll be able to restore this and fix this place up? Uh, for about, probably about, uh, uh, take, to get it to my expectations, probably about 15,000. 15,000, and the asking price is 25,000 euros? Asking price is 25, but I will not pay 25. So you would negotiate, uh, yes. you think, what, 20% uh, would be? Probably uh, at least 20% down. 20% off? Okay, so looking at somewhere maybe getting at uh, 20,000 or... Right, maybe a little bit lower uh, because the floors have to be redone. Uh, uh, the ceiling partially out front. I have to totally redo the entrance way. Um, and this is you doing it yourself or hiring people? Most of it. Most of it are doing myself. Oh, out. Wow. It's quite a drive and, out too. And if you hired somebody, how much more would it cost to uh, to do this as a fix up? Probably uh, about fifteen hundred more. Fifteen hundred more? Yeah. Okay, not too much more then. No, no. And how far is this place from Novi Sad? Uh, from Novi Sad, it's about uh, forty five minutes. Forty five minutes. And this town here is called Pieles. Pieles. Uh, any idea what kind of population we would have here? Uh, here it's about uh, 5,000 I believe um, in the next we were reading last night on the internet in the next five years uh, uh, this whole area will be put on because it falls under Zrenjanin so Zrenjanin is putting in a, a sewage system water system 
uh, uh, everything is upcoming. Their new highway coming through uh, in five years, you won't get property here under 60, 70 K. Wonderful. Okay, so from this location, what Dale's just saying is that this is about 45 kilometers from Belgrade and about 90 kilometers from Novi Sad. So this is actually closer to the Belgrade area. And he also just informed me if we go to this road behind me, how many kilometers you said? About uh, less, uh, about 80 clicks, you'll be in Romania. So 80 kilometers that way to Romania, which is roughly in a maybe 55, uh, 50 miles. So not too far from the Romanian border here. So this home here is 16,000 euros. And you're gonna see what kind of shape it's in. Again, this is about uh, 45 kilometers from Belgrade. Good. 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 This was 16,000 euros. Yes. I think this is in pretty good looking condition. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, land out there. Almost looks common. It's a pretty large uh, yard here. It has grapes. Like a little private vineyard. Is this part of the property? This? Let's find out. Okay, so it's more than just the one house. So we have this property over here. And it looks like there's a little barn. And then this shed or house. Not sure what we have in there. Come back in here. So all of this is included with the other house. So you can really do a lot to fix up this area. I'm not sure what we are looking at over here. But um, definitely a a lot of property and a lot to go with the home here. And here's a kitchen. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is uh, this is nice. Is there an upstairs to this also? Uh, it looks like there should be a rafter or so an attic. And then you have a barn over here with the chickens. I like the roof. It's kind of neat. It is. Yeah, I already wanted to see the chickens. Of course she would. And then you have the additional land. This land also is... And then all of this land over here... So a very large piece of property in the house this building in 16,000 euros. And this building also? This building? But this, that building also? Back here. I thought that was a barn. Okay. okay. And so you also have this area. So this would be a um, place you can make into an Airbnb or make for your home. You can make your wine. Okay, so we got a big shocker here. We thought the property was ending at the fence line over there. The reality is it's the next fence line beyond that fence line. So that's yeah, area of trees years. beyond. That's uh, all included in the property here. A barn, chicken coop, a fixer upper home, and one that's habitable, all within the 16,000 euro asking price. Yeah, so this one is 16,000 euros. You've got a lot of property, a lot of land, and you've got the main house, and then you have this other house over here that uh, will take a lot more work to make that habitable, but you don't necessarily need to make it habitable either. And you got the vineyard here. Turns out you've got some nut trees as well. Um, you know, I, for a sixteen thousand dollar, or actually, I should say sixteen thousand euro investment, which makes that a little bit more expensive. Currently with the exchange rates, you're probably pushing close to $20,000 for this place. And this is the asking price. So there's probably negotiation room. But if you're looking for something rural, this is a example. This is about uh, 40 kilometers outside of Belgrade. And again, with the ownership of a home or inside of uh, Serbia, you have residency. 300 less properties now than this time last year? Yeah, and uh, the prices went up for about 20-30% than uh, last year this time. Wow. Uh, it happened totally opposite of what they were expecting. So almost all those weekend houses here are sold last year or And this is one that Dale and Daliborska have been very excited about coming to see. The historical name of this village is Elisenheim. It was a German village. Elisenheim. 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 You catch that? It is in the Very name old. of glory of uh, Princess uh, of uh, Queen Elisia. of Queen Elizabeth of Austria of Österreich, Austria. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. This is 154 years old. It is about uh, 160 years old. 160 years yes. old. Because uh, this will start with uh, life uh, in uh, uh, 1866. Wow. But it's not nice now because it's winter. It's much better yes. uh, uh, on the spring, when comes spring. So it's beautiful here for living. It starts from, yes, uh, from the gate and uh, until the, this little forest there. And from this property uh, to this uh, neighbor. 
1440 uh, square meter. square square meter meter squares 1440 square meters yes clear air this is very nice <laughs> this is a pretty cool little house and it doesn't take a whole lot to clean this up and we have it on good authority that if this turns into an Airbnb, we'll be one of the first guests to get invited to stay here. As a reminder, Julie and I, we retired early to travel the world. And don't forget to subscribe and follow along and see what it's like to live in different countries and different places with us. Kitchen. Did you see the uh, stained glass? Oh, oh nice. Oh, well. Pap oh, the paprika. They grow paprika here. Paprika. So you get nice spices. We in Europe we have a uh, uh, little rooms. It's not a big like in uh, America. America has a big sound of the houses. Yeah. Everything is sections. Very big. Big size. Yeah. <laughs> Sauerkraut is one of the healthiest things you can do for the digestive system. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Here's the bedroom. Yeah. The bedroom. And it's nice. On the front of you. It's a living room. Living room. I'm in love with the place. Yes, oh, thank you. Uh, this house has a, a very a positive room. energy. It, it's positive energy. This is a you know? big room. This oh, yeah. is another bedroom? No, it's the living room. Living. It can be a bedroom too. You can sit if you want to. It kind of looks like an all-purpose. You see, maybe like this is interesting yeah. for uh, Americans, for strangers. It's uh, very old, yeah. Did you grow these? Yes, this is for our uh, uh, pumpkins, it's for our garden. It's original uh, from our garden and uh, oh, orga beautiful. organic. You see? Uh, very good for Halloween. <laughs> yes, Belo Blato has the as a little village, yeah, has the most biggest population of nationality here. Seventy nationality exist. The most uh, biggest is uh, Slovaks, Serbian Slovaks, mm -hmm. Hungarians, after that Serbs, after that Croatians also, and uh, Roms, yeah, Gypsies very very big number of uh, Slovaks and Hungarians oh, okay. first of all fantastic so yes. it's a very mixed community and Everybody's everybody welcome. here is welcome Beloblato speak in Beloblatian language we say like this okay. <laughs> Beloblatian because it's mix of uh, many languages everyone know uh, about four languages Oh. Is slow, uh, Serbian as official uh, official language. After that, uh, Hungarian, Slovak language, and one of the world languages, usually German mm -hmm. or English. This was a really nice little place. I, if I was um, looking at looking to live in a little village in Serbia, um, this house is really neat. It's uh, be really easy to. Make upgrades. I don't think you need to put more than 
what, four or five thousand euros into into this. And, I would personally say eight. But the you know, I got tons of land out there, so if you decided you were looking at doing some farming type of stuff, there's a whole lot of land here as well. Uh, it was impressive. Yes, it was. I'm telling you, we need to make an offer quick. Okay. Otherwise, that place is gone. Yeah, I would agree. <sighs> if you are going to want it. And minimal, minimal investment to see it work. So Dale and Dolly bought house number three and another surprise, possibly there's an offer out that they made on number two. So they may end up with two homes after this outing with us. Now, if you haven't already, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to Julie and I. If you're interested in looking for property in Serbia, feel free to contact Dale and Dolly to see if they can help you out. Their contact information will be in this video. Also, as a reminder, Julie and I were traveling the world, living in countries one to three months, trying to see what it's like to really live there and see the cost of living, but we'll also have adventures and do tourist things along the way. So we look forward to having you join us, and until next time, have a great day, everybody.